All right, the next system we're gonna look at is something called rep targeting. And this is really good for increasing our muscular endurance over a period of time. Quite simplistic in its nature. I'm essentially gonna set Colin, you might have heard of 50s or 100s. I'm gonna give him one exercise to do, and he's gonna have 50 reps to complete within that exercise, okay? But obviously the difficulty with that is, as he goes through the exercise itself, which in this instance today is gonna to be a chin up, uh, he's gonna fatigue over that time. So he's looking to complete those 50 reps in the fewest number of sets as he possibly can. Obviously, as his muscular endurance improves, when he revisits this, hopefully if it takes him six sets today, maybe next time it may be taking five sets and he'll look to it, make that improvement each time. So I'm just gonna show Colin the exercise and then we're gonna give it a go. All right, Colin, so we're gonna be working neutral grip, chin up, okay? So palms facing in, up we come. Chin above the bar, we're aiming for 50, okay? So um, obviously we're gonna count each rep, each set, uh, how many we complete, and then we'll log it and then go from there. Best of luck, mate. Good. Two, nice. Three, very good. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, good, really good, 10. Fly in here, mate. 11, good. 12, keep pushing. 13, go on. 14, good. 15, effort. All right, so he's taking his first rest. So I'm not sure whether that was tactical. I felt like he had a few more in there, but he got 15 out, so it's a good start. Bear in mind, he's got that target in his head. He's got to work for that 50 reps in total, okay? So the rest time, I would say ideally somewhere between 10 to 30 seconds initially. Use that as like your guideline, depending on how fatigued you feel. If you feel good, move towards that lower end. If you feel like you need that additional rest, push it closer towards that 30 second time period. And then be in a position to go for it again. All right, mate, so we're on 15. 16, good. 17, 18, nice. 19. There's 20, very good. Can we get to 25? One, two. You'd be halfway there, mate. Go on, go on, three, good. You'll get him, you'll get him. Four, one more, one more. Ah, oh, top effort, well done, brilliant. All right, so two sets in. It's actually halfway there, which is it's pretty good going, to be fair. Um, giving those arms a little shake out. There'll probably be a bit of lactic acid starting to build up, maybe feeling a little bit of that burn. Don't forget, obviously, the, the more we improve our muscular endurance, the more we can offset that build of lactic acid and that ability to sort of hold off that fatigue a little bit more, all right? And that's what's gonna help with Colin actually improve his muscular endurance over time. How are we feeling? <laughs> can we get to 30s? Yeah, set number three, we're on 25. One, two, good. Three, come on, come on. Four, let's get 3-0, let's get 3-0. Yeah, top effort, well done, brilliant. All right, so now we've got into 30, we've got 20 to go. If, in Colin's mind now, he might be thinking about sort of looking to break those reps down a little bit more. He might be thinking maybe looking at kind of fives as the sort of go-to for the reps. The thing he's also got to consider is his rest period might increase a little bit more now. Definitely his fatigue starts to kick in, but he is over halfway. He's over the hill, so to speak, and he's on his way back down, okay? Set four, here we go. One, good. Two. Three, well done. Four, go on, mate, you'll get that, you'll get that. Go on, go on. Oh, well done, well done. 34? Decent. Took three and a half. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so from a rest perspective now, he's probably gonna be really at that 30 seconds is kind of like his baseline time frame. What I don't really want him to do is go beyond that. I want him to kind of keep that in mind is that ultimately, the more he's strict with kind of staying to that high end of that rest range, um, the more beneficial that'll be in the long term. Initially, it might make longer sets, but over the piece, and each time he does it, he will improve with that as well.
Okay, 34, here we go. Come on, 35, good. 36, well done. And seven, good. Eight, nice, well done. All right, he's got 12 reps left, so it's a really top effort, this, um, in terms of work. I think he might be looking here, possibly a final two slash three sets. And, uh, and he's complete there. So that gives him something to aim for the next time he comes back to repeat his rep targeting uh, and he actually aims to reduce the number of sets he's completing for this exercise. Even in twos and threes, let's get you over to 40, I reckon. Yeah. Nice. You're in the home straight now, mate. 41. Go on. 42. I'll let you have that one. <laughs> All right, he's got eight to go. I'm gonna predict he gets this in no more than three sets. <laughs> okay, can we get to 45? Come on, Colin. One, good. Two. Yes, top effort, well done. All right, five to go. Yeah, this is the key. We still want to be strict on that time in terms of utilizing that 30 second rest, but uh, trying to stick to those guidelines of rest, okay? Up we go, one, good. Two. Oh, well done, all right, we got two reps left. Well done. Somewhere between, I don't know, 15 second rest maybe. Come on mate, last two, one. Yeah, brilliant. And that hits rep number 50. Great work, Colin. Um, give it a go. Rep targeting, 50s, 100s, pick an exercise. Trying to compete it in the fewest number of sets as possible. Work on increasing that muscular endurance. Um, let's see how you go.